Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've just uh, been on this bargain hunt yet again. I've just got another train delivered. Uh, just another purchase off eBay. Uh, what I've got is a Fleischmann logo, which is like this one. Well, it's this one. Um, it, it came up, I thought I'll have a cheeky little bid uh, for it in the last, well, uh, I just left up my random highest price I was gonna pay for it. And then um, see how it goes. But the description with it, um, it came, it says it's in good condition. Didn't say if it ran or not. Uh, it said it was six and a half inches long, which is irrelevant. Uh, but he reckoned he didn't know what scale it was. So just obviously looking at the logo, it looks like a Fleischmann um, Piccolo one. So fingers crossed that's what is in this box, which has just come today. Wonderful. So fingers crossed. Let's have a look. We'll get this opened up. Like I say, always, always on a never-ending quest for bargains. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But fingers crossed on this one, it looks all right, because it's like a, a Fleischmann streamlined uh, German loco um, from World War II, apparently. Not when it was made. That's the era that it was supposed to be set from. Oh, so we've got a nice, a nice box. It didn't, it didn't say it had a, the original box, but it's, the, um, the seller has definitely put it in a, a well-wrapped box. So, fingers crossed, I'm going to get this out. I'm just going to put it straight onto my test rack, and it's going to work. But, oh, there we go. That's a nice... Well, it's definitely piccolo. <laughs> so... I hope you've all uh, been watching my videos and like my videos so far. I've been some, done a few little different ones, but uh, all basically the same. But it all adds to the enjoyment of a few hours and a few minutes watching something, which is what somebody else has put their hard craft into. But, uh, but yeah, all good fun. So that. I hope you liked um, the workshops that subscribed my video of the, uh, the Azuma passing. It's uh, just been a made a tree house for the kids in the front garden, so it's uh, a good viewing point for them, but if they're interested in trains. Well, here we have it. Ah. Well, it's definitely... As the photo. Doesn't look too bad. So I'm showing you guys first what I can see. It looks pretty good. At least it doesn't it doesn't feel too light, which is pretty good. The wheels are filthy, which is what you'd come up with. Um, I mean, obviously, he was selling somebody some some other ones as well, but he had um, he knew what the scale of that was for some reason, and he didn't know the scale on this one, but. Uh, but yeah, it looks a nice little engine, very well. Um, it uh, looks in really good condition, which is spot on. Right, the truth is in the pudding, which is a put on my test track, which I have here, and see if it goes. Judging by the wheels, it might have a few issues, but we shall try it. Heart stopping moment. Ah. Uh. Lights are on. Nobody's home at the moment. Hmm. At least the lights work, look. <laughs> so I'll see what we can get on. Let me smell check. Just have quickly just have a look at the wheels, but I don't think that'll be doesn't seem to be any any life with it.
No. Right. A bit of further examination. lights on both ends. There we go. Ooh! Must have been a... Scared the living daylights out of me. <laughs> Must have just had a trap wire somewhere. Ah. That's made me happy. It hasn't been room for a while, judging by the smell. That's got some good lights on it. It's because I've got these skirts on. I don't have it on the track. That's it. Take that up, see if I can show you the model a bit better. Well, I'm incredibly happy now. It's a, it's a nice looking low car. I don't know, it's not for everybody's taste probably, but it's like a, it's got the old um, German crest on the side, the Eagle. It's all skirts covering all the wheels. Yeah. It's got some very, some good detail on it. Happy days. This is my little test track, look. Little K2 one. Now all I need to do now, I need to um, get a, a digital chip installed into it, so I can add it to my um, my big rail. I'll just try it with some coaches on to see how it looks. Should look obviously look really good now. So obviously it's going to get feedback on the eBay. It's going to get a very good uh, good amount of feedback. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Really, really happy. Another one for the collection. Another bargain. I got. I'm normally one of these. Um, I'm normally a guy that does the last minute bargain, last minute um, purchasing, like six, seven seconds or something like that, or best offer or, or something like that. But sometimes I just I had to I had to go and do out for the day, and I just left this one as a set price. Um, so I've picked it up for just 45 pounds. So I'm happy, quid's in. I'll get a chip put in for it, which is probably about another 15 pounds, 16 pounds, be able to get a chip for it. And then uh, just add it to my other one. So yeah, really, really happy. Absolute bonus. You always got to look out for your bargains. Just get something finishing at obscure times of day, like lunch times, one in the afternoon. It's always kind of the best time. This was actually finishing at 11 o'clock on a, a Sunday morning. Um, but like you see, you can, you can see a bit of chirpiness in my voice now, you see, now it works. Now it's, uh, just take the chance, take the chance and then uh, it's uh, absolutely brilliant. Well happy with it now. Yeah, it's running absolutely tremendously. So, uh, yeah, it'd be a great, uh, a great one to add to the collection. 
But yeah, again, thanks for watching and glad it's been a happy outcome for me. And uh, see you all guys soon. I hope you'll get some good bargains on eBay or wherever you get them from. It's always good sometimes picking up the cheaper ones and try and get the cheaper ones at the last second and, and uh, go from there. But yeah, cheers guys. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thanks for looking.